Hi, welcome to a new section of the course, Red Black Trees. In the previous section we touched upon concepts such as amortisation and balance in data structures. In this section we'll begin by understanding the terminologies and how a balanced tree is formed. After this we'll move on to the concept of rotation and then learn to work with red black trees by inserting nodes to it. Lastly, we'll learn to verify the transformation. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with the terminologies of red black trees and almost balanced trees. In this video, we'll look at the common terms and concepts used with regards to red black tree. We'll also learn about some rotation operation on it. Red black trees are basically BSTs. However, these trees are unique. Every node sports a color, either red or black. This auxiliary information helps us keep the tree balanced, as we'll soon see. Let's familiarize ourselves with some terms we'll commonly come across in our upcoming discussion. Here's a helpful diagram showing the terms. A tree node's height is defined as the number of edges on the longest path to a leaf. A leaf node's height is zero. For example, in this diagram, the height of the node H is zero. The total number of children of a node is collectively referred to as the node's degree. A leaf node's degree is zero. Here, the degree of node A is two. A non-leaf node is also called an internal node. For example, in this diagram, node C is an internal node. So are A, B, D, E, F, and G. Every internal node in the previous tree has the same degree, two. This makes the tree a complete binary tree. You can refer to this website for more details and related discussion. In the tree we just saw, every node's left and right subtrees are of the same height. This makes it a tree that is perfectly height balanced. However, such trees are very rare. We come across them only when we have large trees with thousands of nodes. Instead, we could try for trees that are either perfectly height balanced or somewhere close to that. What do we mean by height balanced? If the heights of any nodes, left or right subtrees, differ by at most one, it's a height balanced tree. The complexities of various operations would almost be the same as for a perfectly balanced tree. In this diagram, the left tree is height balanced, whereas the right tree is not. In the left tree, the height of the subtrees rooted at n is 1. The height of the subtree rooted at p is 0. These differ by 1, but we're OK with this little bit of imbalance. Before we jump headlong into the nitty gritty of red black tree implementation, let's look at a fundamental concept, rotation. Rotations are used in red black trees to restore balance. Let's look at left rotation first. Rotate the tree counterclockwise so the node 19, which was earlier a parent of 12, becomes its right child. It's always okay to do this as a parent of a node can be made its right child to preserve the BST invariant, namely the right child value should be greater than the parent node. The parent 95 of 12 has now become the parent of 19. The original left child of 19 was 17, which is now the right child of 12. Lastly, 12 is now the new left child of 19. Note that we just changed a fixed number of pointers. The children of 7 and 17 are not affected at all, as also the tree above 95. The complexity of the rotation is big O of 1. The change is pretty localised. The right rotation algorithm is similar. Could you come up with a pseudo code for the right rotation? That's left as an exercise for you. In this video, we got introduced to red black trees, 